Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks For You and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are making some delicious melt in your mouth pumpkin cookies. You will love this recipe. The frosting is absolutely delicious, perfect for fall. So stay tuned. Okay, let's get going on this amazing recipe. We're gonna start by showing you our ingredients. We have our baking powder, cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, and salt, some delicious pumpkin canned flour, our brown sugar, our two beaten eggs, and our butter. I believe it only calls for one stick of butter, but I have two here. We'll check on that. Okay, these ingredients we're going to end up are um, our dry ingredients, we're gonna end up sifting those into our wet. So I'm just getting those all incorporated and that'll go into our wet. Okay, I got our half stick of butter in there. Let all this stick here. Make sure it is softened. Do not melt it, do not use it hard. And our one and a quarter cups brown sugar. We are gonna get this creaming. Time to add our egg and our one and a half cups pumpkin. Almost a full can. You can feed your animals the rest of it if you want or use it in something else. Now it's time to sift in the dry ingredients. And see that blob? I forgot to tell you about ginger. Almost forgot. So we're gonna sift this in. Now we're gonna mix this up. All right, we're gonna stir in our one cup of toasted walnuts. Now, you look at the texture and this is kind of almost like what you would get in a pumpkin pie. It's kind of like scary. Like, oh my goodness, like what a sticky cookie. This is what this texture is gonna make them melt in your mouth. That's why they are called melt in your mouth pumpkin cookies. Like I said, these are a melt-in-your-mouth cookie, very, you know, kind of like, you know, this batter is almost like cake. So you, you're getting a fluffy cookie out of this. You're not going to be having, um, you know, like a dense, chewy cookie. It's kind of cake-like, and it is just delicate, and once we put the frosting on them, which is optional, but the frosting is a great cream cheese frosting that is so yummy. We're gonna bake these at 400. Yeah, that one needs a little more. For right around 15 minutes. I forgot to tell you that we must chill our batter first. So I did not do this and remember to do it when they were on the cookie sheet. So I just put both cookie sheets in the fridge to chill for a good 15 minutes. This is our cream cheese frosting. We have powdered sugar, room temperature butter. Now room temperature cream cheese. And then some vanilla that I'm not even going to measure. There we go. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Just for the family, so I could taste it. Oh, this got great cream cheese and vanilla flavor. So delicious. We are gonna put this deliciousness in the fridge until our cookies are cool and then we will frost them. Oh, they are looking good in the neighborhood. Put them on a wire rack to cool. And then we'll frost them. They are gonna be so delicious. Okay, they are cool. Time to put our frosting on them. You don't want it all over because you want them to show. You want the prettiness of that color to show. So people know, ooh, I'm getting something pumpkin. And they're soft, almost like if it was a top of a muffin. Okay, it's time for the testing. <coughs> There's my doggy. <coughs> mm. That's excellent. Thank you so much for watching Kathy Cooks For You. 
try these delicious cookies. They are amazing. And we'll see you next time. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up.